The quality of infrastructure in an economy is a measure of the quality of life of the citizens in a country. Further, the amount of a nation's infrastructure has an important bearing on sustainable long-term economic growth. This is a true reflection of the Madokero Phase II housing project, which symbolizes Zimbabwe being a great nation within the Southern African region. This esteemed housing project was officially opened by His Excellency, the President, Idim Nangagwa, marking a significant milestone in Zimbabwe's journey towards prosperity and becoming an upper-middle-income economy by 2030. This is Road to 2030 on NRTV. Today marks and signifies an important milestone in the process of infrastructural growth, substantiating SDG 9, that is building resilient infrastructure, promote inclusive and sustainable industrialization, and fostering innovation. Your Excellency, the infrastructure here is an epitome of excellence and a, a product of Zimbabweans. Thus, buttressing your clarion call, Nika Nika Inowakwa Newenewayo. This is a grand stride of building stronger, more sustainable provincial economies and fostering inclusive development across Zimbabwe all cascading to driving our economy to an upper middle, middle class before 2030. Your Excellency, as we strive for the whole of government and whole of society approach, today marks an evident occasion where government's effort is being seen. As a province, Your Excellency, it is our wish to reduce significantly the housing backlog. Your Excellency, it is not an accident that Harare province continues to grow and attract significant investments, such as the one we have gathered to celebrate today. It is through your purposeful, calculated and well-measured steps aimed at growing the economy and developing the nation province is playing a crucial role of ensuring no one and no place is left behind. The state-of-the-art housing project is a testament to the Second Republic's commitment to provide quality housing to Zimbabweans as in line with the Constitution of Zimbabwe, which stipulates every citizen has a right to safe and affordable housing. It is an exceptional honor for us, says the Public Service Commission, to share in the success of the Madokero Creek housing project. This project exemplifies the commitment of the Second Republic to inclusive growth and prosperity. This project also showcases the commitment of the Commission to ensuring dignified retirement for all its workers while leveraging housing demand to generate sustainable wealth for the state service pension scheme. The project was delivered with a 7.4% lower capital outlay than originally planned. This accomplishment was achieved through collaboration with our partners. The housing development includes 148 detached and semi-detached units in a secure, gated community available for both rental and purchase and features modern architectural designs with double volume roofs and doma windows. More than 1,200 men and women were employed during the construction of the houses alongside over 100 specialized subcontractors. The houses were built with locally sourced components by Zimbabweans 
with steel and fabricated materials being the primary imports. Future local steel production is expected to significantly reduce development costs on similar projects in the future. Portfolio diversification also remains vital to the resilience of the pension funds and ensuring widespread benefits. The portfolio of the four-year-old state service pension fund now exceeds 74 billion uh, Zimbabwe dollars and it is diversified across real estate, money markets, equities, mining, infrastructure, tourism, gold coins and private equity. The fund has also invested across various sectors in eight provinces of the country and proposals for the remaining two provinces are under consideration. This holistic approach supports the government mantra of not leaving no one and no place behind. The Bandokiro housing project boasts modern infrastructure, amenities and services setting a new standard for urban living which goes in line with the National Development Strategy 1. The official opening being graced by a number of government officials and His Excellency President E. Dim Nangagwa paves way for a brighter future to every Zimbabwean. This occasion marks the official opening of the Madokero Creek Housing Complex and commissioning of the completed Phase 2 Madokero Shopping Mall. The two milestones events being hosted by the Ministry of Public Service, Labor and Social Welfare are indeed a testament of the Second Republic's continued commitment to deliver affordable and quality housing in urban areas and improve access to social amenities in and around urban settlements. It is gratifying that these flagship programs and projects are pivotal for the attainment of an empowered and prosperous upper middle income society by 2030. As you are aware, the President has set this great nation on an economic transformation and growth trajectory. To that end, the guest of honor has enacted policies and planned the interventions that ensure provisions of adequate housing to cater for demands growing urban populations through public service pension fund. The Madogero Creek housing complex and shopping mall whose commissioning we are witnessing today demonstrate government's commitment through the National Development Strategy 1 to prioritize citizens' access to quality settlements in urban and rural areas. The President has restated that these developments have to be well planned and executed in an environmentally sustainable manner that would also benefit the future generations. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, on 15 December 2022, we witnessed the phase one of this, of this project, where our guest of honor officiated the Madogero Shopping Mall phase one, a product of the public officer's pension contributions. These kinds of investment initiatives 
are part of the wider scheme of the Second Republics to modernize our economy and uplift the people's quality of lives, leaving no one and no place behind. This housing project offers a range of amenities, including schools, health facilities, shopping centers, and recreational spaces, creating a vibrant community that thrives on connection and convenience. It is my honor and privilege to be with you today to officially open the Madokero Creek Housing Complex and commission the Madokero Mall Phase 2 extension. In December of 2022, I was here to commission the completion of Madokero Shopping Mall Phase 1. Today we are gathered to witness the successful completion of Phase 2. All these projects are significant milestones of the Second Republic's journey and a quest towards providing sustainable social protection for our citizens. In doing so, we are fortifying the pillars of our national development strategy through the construction and establishment of lasting assets. Our progress towards attaining our vision of a prosperous and empowered upper middle income economy by 2030 is further reinforced by the visible strides that have been made in spite of the legal sanctions imposed on us by our country's detractors. Comrades and friends, my government approved the setting up of the Public Service Pension Fund to enable the fund to create wealth for its contributors and eventually reduce pension dependency on government treasury coffers. In this regard, we are witnessing the benefits as a result of strategic investments by the Public Service Pension Fund. Congratulations. Since 2019, the Public Service Pension Fund has been receiving and ring-fencing pension contributions from public officers. This has first become an instrument that drives sustainable economic progress and a social protection for government workers. And indeed, the citizens of our great motherland, Zimbabwe. The investments initiated through the fund are not only buildings and infrastructure, but evidence of my government's commitment to ensure that dignity comfort and security are afforded to those who have saved our nation with dedication and loyalty in the public service. It is commendable that the architectural designs in these living and working spaces are designed to provide a holistic life experience. The kind gesture of efficient infrastructure delivery is key in the realization of national priorities and overall socio-economic development of the nation.
Madokero Phase 2 is more than just a housing project. It's a symbol of our nation's potential, a beacon of hope, and a testament to the power of visionary leadership. These projects are creating vibrant communities, smart cities, and fostering economic growth. They build an identity and an image of a people whose aspirations will not be dampened by any form of adversity or negativity. I therefore commend the Public Service Commission for significantly contributing towards the goals of our National Development Strategy and Vision 2030 with emphasis on infrastructural development. The projects being commissioned today strengthen our resolve to create a higher quality of life for all the citizens of our people in Zimbabwe. My government thus continues to demonstrate that the development and destiny of our nation is our collective responsibility by investing in modern housing and commercial spaces. We are not only providing essential amenities, but also creating job opportunities, stimulating local businesses, and attracting further investments. It is commendable to know that over 2,000 people were employed during the Creek Housing Complex construction here in Panapai, as well as Dokero Mall Phase 2. I have also noted more than 60 companies were also engaged to supply various services during the construction. Indeed, we are showing that Nika Igotongba Igonamatirwa Igotzibirirwa Hallelujah. This philosophy should continue to be embedded across our social and economic strata. Harnessing local talent, resources and innovation, especially that of our young entrepreneurs and women. We should promote local expertise across all national projects in this country. The collaboration between the Public Service Commission and local stakeholders in the built environment and the property development space reflects the sense of self-belief, ownership and a pride that is taking root among Zimbabweans. Well done, well done, the children of Monomtapa. <laughs> the future of our nation lies in our hands and not in anybody's hands. The fact that the construction of Madokero housing scheme and Madokero Mall are projects conceived and executed by our young boys and girls. This demonstrates the growing work ethic that is seeing the time as completion of projects by our young people. Comrades and friends, the Public Service Pension Fund has spread its portfolio across all sectors of the economy and is now invested in 
transformative projects such as the Tugui Mukosi 15 megawatt mini hydro plant and over 400 various housing units across the country. Additionally, two commercial centers in Ulawayo and Arare, as well as other land for potential development are also in the pipeline. The fund has now acquired a noticeable 12% shareholding in CBZ Holdings. 14% stake in Tigere. Investments have also been made in various counters across the Zimbabwe Stock Exchange. The Victoria Falls Stock Exchange and the Johannesburg, for that matter, the Johannesburg Stock Exchange across the Ripopo, Yambu, Tambayo. Your investment strategy must speak to emerging realities that strike a balance between the core mandate of the fund and fostering socio-economic development. Therefore, the Public Service Pension Fund is exhorted to expand its portfolio of investments into affordable housing developments, which will also benefit the sizable number of patriotic, hard-working, and contributing civil servants on the lower spectrum. I further challenge you to make the bold decision to invest in factory shelves and the workspaces for our micro and the small and medium enterprises. Ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends, Modernization is at the core of our vision for the future. The Madokero complex and the mall incorporate contemporary architectural designs as well as the latest technologies and the new materials, ensuring our infrastructure is not only functional but also sustainable and a future, futuristic in character. Kungota amuna kupvumiza kupinda mzimbaiti. Dene manga ma pinda mo vangbara mbakubuda. Zaka wa kwama wakiro kuti akuna ceiling mukati. Zino vumira chieza. Kutichi pinde mumba. Asi zino rambi za chando kutichi pinde. Makabo zuona kuzakadaru. Sunongo wani kwa mnom Zimbabwe na wakuma na askana wedu. Let me emphasize that this forward thinking approach is vital. As we move towards becoming an upper middle income society building a Zimbabwe that is competitive on the global stage. This is one of many remarkable projects worth celebrating as it shapes a bright future for every Zimbabwean.